Hi everybody, this is Mike from RGBHQ.com and today I'm going to show you a quick review of one of my favourite plugins for Cinema 4D, Dem Earth, which is an ma amazing mapping and road plugin. There is no other plugin across any 3D application which can do what Dem Earth can do. So instead of boring you with the whys and the whats, I'm just going to show you. So, I want to make a map of London and I want to make a model of London, a quick model which I can use as reference and then can develop later in the project. So what Dem Earth allows me to do is create a 3D object of any spot on the Earth and using the various geo map sources from around the world, uh, cinemaplugins.com who are the creators of Dem Earth are able to pull in geometry and I've just realized that I'm talking too much instead of showing you so I've just hit on Dem Earth and we made a Dem Earth object now this as you can see I think it centers at Mount St Helens in the United States um, which is this area here and just with a standard Dem Earth object we can do things like we can adjust the size of the element that we want if we want it more than that length we can also zoom in and zoom out which is also very useful. If you press control, you can move your map around. And if we wanted to get a bit more information on it, we can also um, just click on this disclaimer and we can download a texture. Um, and that's from the open layer satellite. We've got a wide range of textures that we could use, uh, including some matte ones, which are quite good. <laughs> Not for that specific area. You may find, because everything is open source, that the map locations may not be supplied for your specific area, especially at certain zoom heights and lengths. Um, but that doesn't matter because that's not what we as lovely as it would be to have a map of Mount St Helens that's still not a map of London so how do we get a map of London what we do is we go to a web browser we can use maps uh, Bing or Google Maps doesn't really matter what your preference is there we go and we type in London go and I'm going to put yeah where your pin is is where your location is going to be but I would say for example want Blackfriars Bridge so if we click on right click and go what's here we get our longitude and latitude coordinates and if I just click on that that drops it in there and so I'm going to copy that go back to Dem Earth in cinema and click on and just click on hit on the paste button and there we go London Ooh, amazing so I just want to zoom in a little bit more on that and feed in a map just use the open there we go so that's great that's London um, but now what we can do is that we can actually add some building information f to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fix this point by adding the Dem Earth pinpoint. And then I am going to add the Dem Earth Smart OSM. There we go. And before this used to be two plugins. And whilst you could do this workflow, um, it was a lot more complicated because you were using two plugins. But the great thing about Dem Earth now, now that it's merged with OSM and Porter, is that all of this is available in the one feature set. So I want to download buildings. So I'm going to request that from the server. And because everything is centered on the pinpoint of the object, Dem Earth is intelligent enough to feed the coordinate information down. So I just click on request from server. It might take a little while, but as you can see down here, I'm loading. Dependent on what you're doing, it can take a little while. And obviously a city will take a lot longer. But what this is, is now a series of splines. And you can see here, and another cool feature of Dem Earth is that it's not just showing me ex the exact makeup of the land. I still have the power because um, to enhance that a little bit. So 
if I want to just amplify the height a little bit, you can see that that adds a bit of texturing to London. But what it also does is that the splines that are making up the roads, I don't know if you can just see, are actually conforming to the 3D elements, which is just phenomenal. And you can see here we're getting the bridge details and stuff like that. So this is a basis of a map that I can use for London. Now, that's a lot of splines. So how do I extrude, extrude that? Thankfully, there is a little tool called Demer Smart Extruder. And if I place that above my Smart OSM object, we have extruded models, which is great. And in certain areas like this, um, it will take a good stab at the height information that it's got. So some of the, the elements within London, so there's a the shard, there's the city of London, just over, not the city of London, um, the sort of where Lloyd's, the Lloyd's building and the NatWest Tower and the Gherkin are. And so you could start to create your own geometry to fill in the gaps. But I'm hoping that you can see that this is just a phenomenal tool. And even within this, we still got some more things that we could do. We can still increase, we can increase the height if we wanted to, if we want to override the height. Yep, yeah, see, so if I switch that off, we've now got a control, if I put that up to 100, or maybe, say, 2,000. There we go. We've just turned London into the London of 2,500 AD. But if we just flick that back off, and switch up back to 20, I think it was. There we go, we're back to the London as is now. And the other great thing about this, hit on make object, that is now an editable polygon, but we could have just done that back here. I'm just gonna switch the extruder off because sometimes it can cause some issues, but we get closed and open splines, which just standard objects, and I have used Dem Earth, this kind of workflow to create models for Modo, create models for Maya, create models for After Effects. I mean, because you're putting this straight into Cinema 4D, it's just an object within Cinema, so you can start to do whatever you want. So I hope this gives you a brief overview of Dem Earth. If you want to find out more, I strongly advise you visit Cinema Plugins, who are the developer. Come on, internet. And then you got Dem Earth 3. And there's a couple of license options. Um, there's floating or there's a node lock license, but for the money that you're paying, this is such a phenomenal resource. There are so many different ways that you can use this. Um, just to have, for example, a way that I've used this um, recently was I needed to create an ancient city which no longer existed. Um, so I just found a city, say, for example, in New York or Boston that had a street map similar. and brought in the OSM data, extruded it, and then was able to custom customize it to whatever I wanted. There are so many things that Dem Earth is useful for. It's not just about maps, it's a res geographical resource creator. It's a phenomenal tool, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If there is anything else that you would like to know about Dem Earth or see any other videos, then please let us know. So this is Mike from rgbhq.com. Speak to you soon.